of sports lately. Last year and this year, I've done volleyball, beach volleyball, badminton, os tag. Just tried out a bunch of different sports. That's definitely my favorite form of like hobbies or like off time. But I just feel like I should be able to exercise without having to get like a group of people together. And so I decided what better way to kick off spring going into summer with signing up to the gym. I have not been to the gym in so long. So I remember a few years ago, I signed up to the gym. I did a one-year membership because I was like, if I sign up for a one-year membership, I'm gonna go because money's gonna get deducted from my bank account. Lo and behold, that did not happen. I ended up like deactivating my membership for like months at a time, but then I still would have to finish my one-year membership and I just lost a lot of money. So this time I'm like, I cannot let that happen to me because I think if you go to the gym and you stop going, you kind of lose momentum and then you just break that habit and you don't really want to go back. So I figured now that I have a car, I can drive to whichever gym I need to go because the gym I signed up to has like multiple branches. And in order to not lose momentum, I'm going to challenge myself to do seven classes in seven days. They offer like so many different classes and I just wanted to do something different because I've done the HIIT classes. I've done those. I don't really enjoy them. I feel like doing HIIT classes, it's great. You do feel really rewarded after, but you feel like death during and after. So if you do HIIT, it makes you not really want to go back, at least for me. It's just like thinking about working out, it's like, oh, like I don't want to, I don't want to kill myself today. So yeah, I decided to choose like more like mellow, but also like strength building classes. Show you guys what these classes really entail, if it's worth it and um, how I feel about them. So let's go. doing the handstand I was like I have to be the last one standing otherwise my ego would be so crushed because <laughs> I used to have to hold a handstand for like a minute at a time so thank god those people came down before me dude we're supposed to do that one legged squat with weights I was like no way no way Handstand walk was so hard. Like it doesn't look that hard, but I didn't even know like I was, I couldn't, I was doing it so slowly. This ab workout was death. I don't know if it's because I just haven't exercised in a long time or maybe the workout was actually too intense. I just like could not complete it, <laughs> even though I tried really hard. I'm literally doing a plie or demi plie. I forget what it's called. Oh my god, my arms were burning like crazy here. leg raises were wild it was so bad like my butt and my thighs were burning absolutely burning to be honest i am really not looking forward to this because i just know my butt and my leg are gonna burn and i'm already really sore right now so i don't know how much more i can handle guys Look at the vibe of this room. It's so nice. Feels like I'm in a nightclub. I look like a mess. 
doing the workout, my hair was like... It was so nice to be partnered up with Ben because he obviously like encouraged me and I was just very comfortable with him. We basically took turns punching and I'm sorry but I didn't get to capture it on camera. Hi. Who's GoPro? Is it yours? Alright, hi. Yes, hi guys. Is it still recording? It's still recording. Sick. Alright. <laughs> Alright, everyone find us and make a circle please. Let's go. Everyone make a circle. We got a lot of people and this is gonna burn. I'm not even sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Woo! Be on camera today. Let's go, let's make some form of a circle, okay? Yeah, everyone just nice circle, 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 once everything's away. We'll finish off with core. We're finishing off with core today. Hey, everyone take a seat. Take a seat. I'll give you that back, sorry. Oh, <laughs> This exercise was so fun. It was also super chill. any of these arm exercises like maybe the first 10 i'm good and then after that i i just can't like the resistance is too strong exactly what I had imagined Pilates to be like though I like that there was a mirror on top so you can really like hold yourself accountable for how you look like I didn't really know what to expect for this class but I was really surprised and pretty glad that we were doing push-pull movements for me, it's really helpful to be doing that assisted like this because it really helps me kind of visualize what it really feels like to do push-ups and pull-up. Also, it looks really easy doing it assisted, but it was actually really hard. Like, I felt like I was using all my strength to do it. So the instructor would demonstrate it to us first and then she'll walk around and try to help us. So I was pretty much just waiting for her to come.
like that class and I can see myself actually getting strong from it. This is actually my reenactment of the yoga class itself based on what I remember because I didn't film in class. started off pretty slow, we would just do one movement at a time, but around middle to the end of class we started doing flows, which is just a sequence of different movements, and that definitely made the class a lot more fun and dynamic. Now that I've completed all seven classes in seven days, here are my thoughts. The order of classes was calisthenics, bar hit, cycling, fighting fit, pilates, circus, and yoga. And I would group them into different buckets. So calisthenics and circus class are body weight stuff, and bar hit and cycling would be muscle toning, and then yoga and pilates is more strength, posture, and flexibility. So I would say I got a good mix of classes to serve each purpose. I guess I didn't have a cardio class, but we all know how cardio goes. Calisthenics class, I was really scared. I thought they would make us do really hard stuff like pull-ups, push-ups, like just like super crazy things but it was actually really chill they kind of took us through exercises that most people would be able to do and that was enjoyable i felt super sore after that bar hit that was an interesting class it is actually a combination of ballet but like ballet with bad form so it was a lot of muscle toning like crazy because you're lifting your legs up you're lifting your arms and as we all know ballet it's actually not as easy as it seems it's very like strength based and so with that class it really burns like seriously if you want to tone up your muscles do that class with cycling that's the one that I didn't enjoy as much so I really like the vibe it's like a nightclub there's like lights and music but I feel like it's not dynamic enough for me it's just the same thing over and over again like cycling, sitting down, cycling, standing up, alternating that's it, that's the whole class next was fighting fit so this is not like your usual like boxing class because this is kind of like a more mellow version it's not like oh you're learning how to do Muay Thai it's not one of those like very specific classes this one I think it's enjoyable if you're not trying to get into like actual fighting because it definitely does not teach you the real techniques it's kind of just doing it to tone up your muscles and the cardio and abs part was also I think just right it wasn't too intense um, it was like a moderate amount so if you just want to get like some like cardio in, do that class. Pilates. So I've tried different Pilates studios and I really enjoyed this one. This one specifically was Pilates signature one and that one was really good. So it wasn't just like making you do like squats and like the typical Pilates stuff that you actually can do at home with like say dumbbells or resistance bands. It's actually like utilizing the reformer in a way that like you can only get that workout with a reformer so I thought that was great and just like the vibe of a Pilates gym I think everyone can agree you feel like so put together and bougie like being in there I felt like I was like there in life I was like wow oh, like this is really nice it gives me the illusion that I have my life together circus fit 
Oh my gosh, that one really, really impressed me. So I didn't know what to expect, but we did actually a lot of calisthenics in the beginning of class. This one we would do like push-ups, pull-ups, squats, um, but with the help of the, the bar, which is like so good for me because I can't do any of those like on its own, but it's like helping you achieve those movements. And I think that's the best way, like to be able to mimic a movement is so good because if I'm just learning other types of, um, let's say I'm doing rows, I'm not actually doing the pull-up movement itself. So I'm not really visualizing what it's like to be able to do it. And so after all that strength stuff in the beginning, usability, stretching, there's a lot of that. I feel like this class covered all of that. You then go on to do skills and the teacher basically shows you a bunch of different variations of skills that you can test out. That was so much fun because I love gymnastics, I love anything aerial related and that was basically like aerial silks. The teacher, I think she was in the circus at one point, so that was so fun. Just like trying out different tricks, seeing what your body can do. Alright, last thing is yoga. Alright, so this one I was actually least looking forward to because I like exercises that are just like more dynamic and like I like jumping a lot, so <laughs> obviously there's no jumping in yoga, but yoga was so much more challenging than I expected. I thought it would just be like meditating or something, but you actually have to like do legit strength based moves. So there's this thing called chaturanga. It's basically like slowly pushing yourself into the ground, which is basically like a push up. And you do that so many times. You do a chaturanga and then you do downward dog and then back down. So if you think yoga is gonna ch be chill, it really depends on what kind of class you're taking and what level you're at, cause it can get real intense. In my mind, it's like, oh, this is supposed to be chill and like relaxing, which it is because the room is very dark, but then it's actually like not as easy as it looks. So I feel like a kind of cognitive dissonance happening. <laughs> and you really do feel super connected with your body because when you're moving that slowly, you can feel every fiber. <laughs> so it's just like, I can feel everything. I can feel where I need to strengthen myself, where I need to slow down or stretch. So I really do think yoga, you get very in tune with your body. Overall, I'm so happy I tried all these different classes. I think my favorite class was calisthenics and circus fit. As I mentioned, I like jumping. I like very aerodynamic things. And those classes definitely hit the box. And I probably would do Pilates as well, just because it's something more chill, makes me feel good. The other classes, not so much, but I still did enjoy them. They were really fun. I do want to preface this video by saying that these are my experiences with these specific classes. For example, there's different kinds of Pilates. There's like more strength-based ones, there's probably more chill ones. And same thing with like fighting fit. Like if you go to an actual boxing gym, like a Muay Thai gym, Jiu Jitsu gym, it's gonna be very different from the fighting fit I took because the fighting fit I took is definitely not aimed for people who are trying to get good at that skill, but more so just like an introduction. Yeah, so it really depends on the classes you choose, who your instructor is, but that's just like my experience with it at the gym I went to. I'm really grateful I did this because I think this really got my mo momentum going. Like now I really wanna go hit the gym often. And after trying out all these different classes, I know which ones I like and which ones I'll stick with and which ones maybe once in a while I'll go challenge myself and just try it out like the bar one. That was a strange class. I'm heading off to another circus fit class cause I am so annoyed I couldn't get the skills last time. I will get it this time. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye.